On the topic of converged database, very good point here. Holger, talk to us a bit about your perspective, how having 16 or so different databases compares to having a single converged database, which can accommodate everything from JSON to relational. It's it's uh, the perennial debate in enterprise software between best of breed versus sweet. Right? The best of breed has the uh, problem that you have to integrate multiple things, but you might get the best part. Suite has the benefits of integrating them with one query, one access, and so on. The Oracle clearly has the, the X in the camp of the converged databases. You call I call it the universal database because I can do any use case I want to do with that. I don't, don't have to change that. If something new comes up to that, I don't have to buy another database, learn a different database, provision another database. So and in the past, which is encouraging for Oracle certainly is that suites have only always one. No matter at what layer, the operating system layer, the infrastructure layer, the platform layer, the software as a service application layer, suites are always have been the thing that enterprises want because they reduce the complexity, they give them peace of mind. And they may not be the best uh, in all the top parts, and you guys have good claims that you're still the best in those parts, so I'll leave you to you to present those. But um, the, the compromise of that being good enough, but being across any potential use case, that's what CIOs and CTIOs want for the next generation application. Yeah, the, the thing that I would add is, I mean, I think we honestly believe we can be the best in every area. We can be better than the best of breeds, right? We released a flavor of autonomous database called Autonomous JSON Database last fall. Uh, and we published benchmark results um, in a blog comparing to some previously published results from MongoDB. And the Oracle database outperformed MongoDB, Autonomous JSON Database. And, and this, to some people, is a surprising result. Why can, you know, this big sort of, as you said, Holger, this universal database, why should it outperform a special purpose database? Um, and, and I think there's a, there's a good reason for it, that the special purpose databases have a sort of limited amount of engineering resources that they can vote to parallelism. Or MongoDB doesn't have its own hardware division that they build an exadata system based upon, right? They, um, you know, the in-memory technologies and the adoption, you know, and Oracle's ability to take advantage of the latest hardware enhancement and the software. These are the areas where we can get better performance, that this becomes additive as we uh, invest more and more in the core Oracle database technology, we can be more robust than these 10 different vendors who are much smaller, each trying to invest in a given niche. That's a, that's a very good point, George, that the life of the best of breed might be limited because I can't push beyond to where you guys are pushing. And what certainly helps you, what you also mentioned is what I call the chip to click stack, right? The design silicon all the way to the user click and SaaS application where everything is optimized to run well together. And that changes potentially the uh, best of breed versus sweet game because you bring in more of the vertical layers of the stack to it, which traditionally has not been possible. So it could be that Oracle is rewriting history here in terms of a uh, best of breed versus sweet with bringing in the full stack. Yeah, we are very committed to our converged database strategy for that reason, that in the end, mature applications become blended applications. They are going to rely on, you know, different different types of, of use cases, different types of usage of the data. And what you don't want to do is have one, two, three, four, five different systems that you're trying to piece together. And I think that's the where Oracle, you know, Oracle strategic customers recognize that having a converged database is going to save them a lot of money and a lot of pain in the long run. It's going to be easier to build the systems because they're not doing a large system integration problem. And it's going to produce better business results because you have consistent data, consistent security model, consistent uh, access languages. Let's look at the beyond that, right? What benefits do you have, if any? You say, okay, I'm gonna get MongoDB, okay? I'm gonna get Snowflake. So I got data warehousing done, right? I got all my JSON documents done with, with MongoDB. I go to AWS, I have a time series database. All of a sudden, you start gathering these different databases. You've got different API calls across each one that you have to master and integrate. You have different managers, different security protocols, different storage requirements, different patching requirements. So if you look at the sheer complexity 
of adding up these specialized databases vis-a-vis -vis a singular database that can support whatever you may need and that keeps the compute next to the data. You're not having to do ETLs and move data around and bring in separate expensive third-party tools for machine learning purposes and things of that nature. Maybe give us your perspective on a new customer coming in to the world of Oracle databases. Well, the interesting thing for new customers, of course, is the approach to the problem. Right? If you take the problem one area at a time, I need a data warehouse solution, I need a JSON or a document a database, I need a spatial database, I need a memory database, right? Then, then you win it one battle at a time. George, your take? Yeah, no, I fully agree with what Holger just said, right? That I, I think that the, the customers who approach autonomous database for the first time likely will be looking at a single point solution, a, a single dimension. And I think that what we'd like to realize is you're never going to outgrow the autonomous database. That as you expand your system and your system has new requirements, whether it be adding new types of data or new analytic engines or you know, faster ways to build your applications. You know, for example, Oracle has an embedded low-code development environment called Application Express or APEC, right? We're going to provide a set of capabilities within autonomous database to handle your requirements for this project to handle your future requirements for this project and handle your next projects as well. Okay, gentlemen, thank you for your comments. And thank you for our viewers for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Okay, thank you, Steve.